my dear Duke. This is the moment I was waiting for all my life. Hollywood is a place of dreams and fantasies, where stars shine bright and legends are born. But it's also a place where fame and fortune can sometimes turn even the most charming celebrities into real-life jerks. Uh, now John who? John Cocteau Stone. <laughs> it's a beautiful name. Well, it's Scotch Romania. Number 20. Charlie Sheen. We'll start with none other than Charlie Sheen, a name that once dominated the headlines for all the wrong reasons. You might remember him as the highest paid actor on television, but his fall from grace was as dramatic as his rise. In 2012, Sheen's erratic behavior led to his infamous firing from the hit show Two and a Half Men. It was a classic case of the highest falls the hardest. Sheen's public persona was marred by egotistical and misogynistic behavior. He didn't hold back in various interviews, proudly proclaiming the existence of tiger blood running through his veins. And let's not forget that moment when he called Rihanna a B-word on Watch What Happens Live in 2017. But it didn't stop there. Sheen's penchant for ranking his female co-stars didn't sit well with the Hollywood community. Needless to say, they were far from pleased with his brackets. His destructive tendencies, battles with drug addiction, and habit of bad-mouthing other celebrities only added to his notoriety. And then there were his romantic relationships, particularly with his former wife, Denise Richards. Richards eventually divorced Sheen, citing allegations of drug abuse and mistreatment. The public spectacle even included accusations of Sheen looking at explicit material during their marriage a bizarre twist in their already unstable relationship. Things got so dire that his third wife felt compelled to file a restraining order, expressing genuine concern for Sheen's mental state. In her words, quote, I am very concerned that Sheen is currently insane. Number 19. Steven Seagal Moving on to Steven Seagal, a man who may have been a martial arts legend on screen, but off screen has proven to be quite the piece of work. Despite his popularity as an action film star, Seagal has earned a reputation for being notoriously difficult to work with. Now you'd think that actors should excel at teamwork, but that's not the case here. In fact, the creator and producer of Saturday Night Live didn't hold back when he called Seagal one of the worst hosts the show has ever had. Ouch! But that's just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to Seagal's unpleasant behavior. He's not exactly known for being a team player with his stuntmen either. In a rather childish move, he's been known to kick them where it hurts most, right between the legs. Not exactly the behavior you'd expect from a seasoned professional. Seagal's abusive tendencies even extend to those he employs. One ex-model was hired as his, quote, executive assistant, but her duties took a shocking turn. She found herself having to give Seagal massages and enduring his inappropriate advances whenever he pleased. It's a terrifying prospect to be subjected to such treatment in the workplace. And it doesn't stop there. Several women, including Jenny McCarthy, Portia de Rossi, and Juliana Margulies, have accused Seagal of sexual harassment. These allegations have left a dark stain on the action star's reputation, and it's safe to say that his career may never fully recover from all the bad press. Number 18. Tommy Lee Jones Now let's shift our focus to the one and only Tommy Lee Jones, a man who doesn't just act like a grumpy guy, he's the real deal. In Hollywood, it's a rarity to find Tommy signing autographs or engaging with journalists. While some might argue that's his choice, it's not always seen as a positive trait. In fact, most journalists dread the thought of a second movie-promoting interview with him. Why, you ask? Because he has a notorious reputation for cutting them off mid-conversation and simply walking out. But here's where it gets interesting. There was one interview with GQ magazine where he made a reporter cry. How, you wonder? Well, picture this. Tommy, while talking to the journalist, starts cracking whole walnuts with his bare hands. It's a bizarre and somewhat intimidating sight that left the poor interviewer in tears. And let's not forget the time he famously told Jim Carrey, quote, I hate you. I really don't like you. I cannot sanction your buffoonery. 
Now, you might argue that he was too harsh on Carrie, but you've got to give credit where credit is due. I cannot sanction your buffoonery is probably one of the most creative and hilarious ways to tell someone to take a hike. Yes, Tommy might be a grump, but he certainly has a flair for delivering memorable insults. His no-nonsense attitude and candid remarks have earned him a spot on our list of Hollywood's biggest douchebags. Stay tuned for more fascinating stories. Number 17. Chevy Chase It's painful to admit, but Chevy Chase is far from the lovable and hilarious goofball he portrays himself to be. In fact, he's earned a reputation for being a complete jerk, and it's not just hearsay. Even his co-stars from SNL have openly expressed their disdain for him when he returns as host. Why? Because he consistently acts rudely towards everyone around him. And that's not something you'd expect from a comedy legend. Unfortunately, Chase's bad behavior and tarnished reputation didn't end when he left SNL. It seems to have followed him throughout his entire career. These days, his Hollywood journey appears to be all but over. At one point, he crossed the line by making lewd remarks towards one of the female writers, which is simply messed up. It's a stark reminder that respecting those who write your lines should be high on any actor's top priority list. The story doesn't end there, though. Chase seems to have an aversion to being polite to anyone, whether it's fans or co-workers. It's a shame to witness someone with such comedic talent tarnishing their own legacy with such unpleasant behavior. The consequences of his actions caught up with him when he was let go from NBC's hit show, Community, due to similar onset issues that cropped up with the aging comedian. It's become apparent that he may never change his ways at this point. Number 16. William Shatner William Shatner's Comedy Central roast was a memorable event, but not because it celebrated his achievements. Rather, it provided stars with the perfect opportunity to unleash their pent-up rage towards this alleged grouch of Hollywood. It's surprising to learn that even while he was on the set of the iconic Star Trek series, most of his co-stars couldn't stand him. Why, you ask? Because he consistently behaved badly towards all of them, earning him the not-so-flattering nickname Captain Jerk. It might not be the most creative nickname, but it certainly gets the point across. One particularly shocking incident was Shatner's failure to show up at Leonard Nimoy's funeral. It was a display of indifference that left many bewildered and disappointed. Even at conventions where fans and co-stars come to celebrate the Star Trek legacy, Shatner reportedly carries a huge attitude that everyone is forced to tolerate. There was a moment when he repeatedly shouted at Denise Crosby, known for her role as Tasha Yar from Star Trek whenever she attempted to answer a question. Witnessing such behavior towards his co-stars makes it challenging to have respect for the man. Shatner's bad behavior has begun to drive away his fans, who are becoming increasingly disenchanted with his attitude. Number 15. Zsa, Zsa Gabor Our next story is about Zsa, Zsa Gabor, a woman who lived to the ripe old age of 99, but left behind a legacy of unpleasantness. Zsa, Zsa Gabor, the Hungarian-born actress, was praised as one of the most talented and glamorous celebrities of her time. Some even likened her to being a Kardashian before the Kardashians took over that spotlight. But what many failed to acknowledge was her reputation for being rather unpleasant to be around. Despite her advanced age, Gabor seemed to have more time than most on this list to execute her misdeeds. One of her greatest sins was her shabby treatment of her daughter, Francesca Hilton, whom she seemed almost ashamed to acknowledge. While Zsa, Zsa proudly displayed her daughter on red carpets and at social gatherings when she was still a cute little girl, her interest in Francesca waned as the young girl expressed no interest in wearing makeup or conforming to her mother's ideals of beauty. Francesca's life took a tragic turn when her father, billionaire hotel magnate Conrad Hilton, passed away. He left his daughter just $100,000, a sum that prompted a relentless legal battle. Unfortunately, Francesca lost her case and depleted her entire fortune in the process. With minimal financial aid from her mother, she lived her remaining days penniless, far from the luxury of Beverly Hills. Number 14. Lou Reed 
Reed was a man of immense talent, known for his contributions to music both as a member of the Velvet Underground and as a solo artist. With iconic songs like Walk on the Wild Side and Perfect Day, Reed earned his place among music royalty. Even today, years after his passing, he's remembered as a visionary and one of the greatest songwriters to ever grace earth. However, despite his musical genius, there's another side to Lou Reed that's often overshadowed by his fame. Reed had his share of demons, including substance abuse issues that grew alongside his fame. As he climbed the ladder of success, his addiction and unruly behavior seemed to spiral out of control, resulting in strained relationships with many of his peers. Reed's erratic behavior didn't spare even the most famous faces in the music industry. In one shocking incident, he slapped the legendary David Bowie in the face after Bowie expressed genuine concern over Reed's incessant drug use. And that wasn't an isolated event as Reed's mouth often got him into trouble. He also found himself on the wrong side of Bob Dylan, engaging in a series of anti-Semitic slurs against the iconic singer-songwriter. Number 13. Robin Williams His sudden and tragic death on August 11, 2014 sent shockwaves around the world. Many couldn't fathom how someone like him, with fame, fortune, a beautiful spouse, and a reputation as one of the greatest comedians of all time, could succumb to such a fate. However, as we peel back the layers of his life, we find a story that's not as straightforward as it might seem. Robin Williams, undoubtedly one of the most naturally funny people of his era, is often celebrated as a comedic genius. But here's the twist. He wasn't the great comedian he's often made out to be. While his stand-up performances delighted audiences and impressed club owners, the material he performed wasn't always his own. Williams had a nagging lack of confidence in his joke-writing abilities. To compensate, he shamelessly borrowed jokes from his fellow comedians without offering any compensation. In the comedy world, it's not uncommon for comics to share or sell jokes, but Williams took it a step further by simply taking what he wanted. His rapid rise to success left many of his peers hesitant to confront him about his blatant joke stealing. It wasn't until fellow comedian David Brenner confronted Williams and even threatened him with physical violence that Williams began to change his ways. Stay with us as we delve deeper into the darker side of Hollywood history. Number 12. John Lennon John Lennon is often remembered as a martyr for peace. The media and the majority of his fans have portrayed him as a symbol of the hippie era, an advocate for love and peace whose message was tragically lost in a world consumed by fame, fortune, and war. But as we dig deeper into his life, we uncover a more complex and controversial figure. Lennon, undoubtedly one of the most gifted musicians of the 20th century, made significant contributions to music and activism. However, his personal life was marred by choices that caused pain to those who loved him the most. During the height of his fame as a Beatle, he neglected his responsibilities as a husband and father. His son, Julian, often felt like he faded into the background as his father toured the world, indulged in drugs, and engaged in sex with thousands of women, all while still being married. It was only in the final years of his life, long after the Beatles had disbanded, that Lennon managed to settle down and lead a quieter life with Yoko Ono, with whom he had a son. This second attempt at fatherhood appeared more successful, suggesting that much of his earlier failure could be attributed to the immense pressures of being a principal member of the world's most famous band. Nonetheless, the stress cannot fully excuse his past poor behavior and neglectful parenting. Number 11. Bing Crosby Bing Crosby, often celebrated as one of the most iconic voices in the history of music, had a life that sang a far more discordant tune behind the scenes. His oldest son, Gary Crosby, pulled back the curtain on the family's dark secrets with his 1983 tell-all biography, Going My Own Way. According to Gary, Bing wasn't the warm and loving father figure many believed him to be. Instead, he often resorted to harsh disciplinary methods, wielding both stern lectures and a studded leather belt as tools of punishment. Shockingly, Gary wasn't the sole target of his father's disciplinary actions. 
He also faced repercussions when his brothers misbehaved. But the abuse didn't stop at spankings. Housekeepers were alleged to have subjected the children to a horrifying ordeal known as the drowning treatment in the bathtub. This cruel punishment was inflicted if the children were caught talking in bed or woke up too early. Tragically, two of Bing's children struggled with depression and eventually succumbed to suicide, shedding light on the lasting scars left by their tumultuous upbringing. Even though Bing Crosby and his frequent co-star Bob Hope shared the silver screen in seven road movies, their on-screen camaraderie did not extend to real life. Bob Hope once confided to a friend that he didn't merely dislike Bing, at times he detested him. Behind the Hollywood glamour, there often lies a painful truth hidden behind closed doors. And Bing Crosby's story shows us just that. Number 10. Gene Kelly Gene Kelly, the iconic dancer and Hollywood legend, had a reputation that extended beyond his dazzling dance moves. It's been said that when dancer Sid Charisse returned home from MGM with bruises, her husband would assume she'd been working with Gene Kelly that day. But Kelly's alleged transgressions may have gone beyond simply being rough with his co-stars. In a shocking revelation from 1970, it was reported that Gene Kelly made a substantial donation to the provisional Irish Republican Army IRA. He reportedly met secretly with an IRA leader during an underground fundraising mission in the US and handed over a check for £20,000. According to the story, Kelly's message to the leader was chilling. Quote, this money is for guns. I certainly don't want it going to any do-gooders. It's worth noting that these allegations only emerged after Kelly's death, and his widow, Patricia Ward Kelly, vehemently disputes them. She has claimed that her late husband was proud of his Irish heritage, but he didn't possess a significant amount of money, nor was he a violent individual. Number 9. Milton Burl. Milton Burl had a reputation as an outspoken joke thief earning the nickname The Thief of Bad Gags. RuPaul even called him out at the 1993 MTV Music Video Awards. The two got along poorly on camera and off, and what should have been a torch passing got awkward when RuPaul went off script. RuPaul ended his professional relationship with MTV shortly after the incident. Uncle Milty, as he was known, also earned a lifetime ban from hosting NBC's Saturday Night Live. When he guest hosted in 1979, Burl attempted to take control of the entire show during rehearsals, upstaged his fellow cast members, and recycled old comedy bits. Lorne Michaels tried to keep the show from being rerun, but copies of the show surfaced in 2003. In this case, this Hollywood star's jerk behavior impacted other people's work. Number 8. Walt Disney Walt Disney, the creative genius behind the beloved children's entertainment empire that carries his name, is often celebrated for his contributions to family-friendly entertainment. However, beneath the surface of the whimsical world of Mickey Mouse and fairy tales, Disney had a darker side. In an era that wasn't particularly known for its progressive views, Disney was notorious for his sexist beliefs. He once remarked, quote, Women do not do any of the creative work in connection with preparing the cartoons for the screen, as that task is performed entirely by young men. This statement reflected his regressive attitude toward the role of women in creative endeavors. Even more troubling, Disney was a well-documented anti-Semite. He held strong prejudices against Jewish individuals and believed in conspiracy theories about Jews attempting to control the motion picture industry. In a shocking turn of events, in 1938, just before the outbreak of World War II, Disney hosted the infamous Nazi propagandist Lenny Riefenstahl in his Hollywood studio. This meeting cast a dark shadow on his legacy. Number 7. Errol Flynn Errol Flynn, the dashing swashbuckler known for his roles in classic adventure films, led a life that was far from the heroic characters he portrayed on screen. His legacy is marred by several controversies and scandals. In 1980, Charles Hickman's biography, Errol Flynn, The Untold Story, made explosive allegations about Flynn. Hickam claimed that Flynn had engaged in multiple same-sex affairs and even accused him of sympathizing with the Nazis. 
However, these claims were based on circumstantial evidence and have since been debunked by later biographies. Flynn's reputation took a significant hit in the 1940s when he faced three separate statutory rape trials. Although he was acquitted each time, these trials cast a long shadow over his image. Additionally, Flynn's lifestyle choices, including heavy drinking and womanizing, took a toll on his once handsome appearance. In the later years of his career, he often played roles of aging alcoholics. Tragically, Flynn's life was cut short when he died of a heart attack at the age of 50 in 1959. The medical examiner noted that his body resembled that of an 85-year-old man. Number 6. John Wayne John Wayne, the iconic Hollywood actor known for his rugged Western roles, had a complex and controversial political and social history that has left a lasting impact on his legacy. In the early stages of his career, Wayne referred to himself as both a socialist and a liberal. However, his political views took a sharp right turn over the years. In 1964, Wayne publicly supported Barry Goldwater for president, a candidate who had voted against the Civil Rights Act. One of the most controversial moments in Wayne's life came in the May 1971 issue of Playboy, where he expressed his belief in white supremacy and stated that he did not support African Americans holding office until they could, quote, be educated to a point of responsibility. Wayne was also vocal in denouncing homosexuality. He found films like Suddenly Last Summer and Midnight Cowboy to be, quote, disgusting and perverse. Interestingly, he maintained a close relationship with Rock Hudson, despite Hudson's homosexuality, when they co-starred in The Undefeated. Even today, some film school students will walk out of class when John Wayne's movies are screened due to his controversial remarks and beliefs. There have been calls to remove his name from the Orange County Airport, and his legacy continues to be subject to debate and criticism. In 1989, the rap group Public Enemy even dissed John Wayne in their hit song, Fight the Power, highlighting the enduring controversy over his legacy. Number 5. Betty Davis Betty Davis, the legendary screen goddess known for her fierce talent, was not one to be messed with, either on or off the set. Anecdotes about Davis's fiery nature abound. One incident involved producer William Fry, who recounted a dinner with Davis and director Herschel Dougherty. When Dougherty wagged his finger in her face, Davis unleashed a verbal tirade that sent half the restaurant patrons fleeing. Remarkably, after this outburst, Davis calmly returned to her dinner as if nothing had happened. The intensity of film set lighting often required Davis to rinse her eyes between scenes. During the filming of Mr. Skeffington, an unknown person entered her dressing room and tampered with her eye wash, poisoning it. The culprit was never identified, and director Vincent Sherman famously quipped to detectives, quote, If you were to line up the cast and crew and ask them, Okay, which one of you wanted to kill Betty Davis? A hundred people would raise their hands. Number 4. Joan Crawford Joan Crawford, the iconic Hollywood actress, wasn't just known for her incredible talent. She had a knack for stirring up controversy both on and off the screen. One of the most infamous moments in her career was her backstage feud with Betty Davis during the production of Whatever Happened to Baby Jane. This dramatic clash was later portrayed in the 2017 miniseries Feud. Davis made every attempt to have Crawford fired from the film, but her efforts were in vain. When Davis received an Academy Award nomination and Crawford did not, chaos ensued. Crawford managed to insert herself into the Oscar ceremony by booking a spot to present the Best Director Award and actively campaigned against Davis. Surprisingly, the Oscar for Best Director went to Anne Bancroft for The Miracle Worker, and Joan Crawford accepted the trophy on Bancroft's behalf. In 1978, Christina Crawford, one of Joan's adopted children, released the tell-all book Mommy Dearest, shedding light on a lifetime of abuse. While some of Crawford's children denied abuse, her alcoholism, jealousy, and obsessive cleaning habits were widely known in Hollywood. Crawford was also rumored to have had a one-night stand with Marilyn Monroe and was dubbed the other woman in multiple divorces. 
Christina Crawford spent most of her childhood in boarding schools, claiming that her mother adopted children primarily for publicity purposes. Joan Crawford's questionable adoption methods even led to instances where birth mothers came to reclaim their children shortly after Crawford had adopted them. Upon her death in 1977, Joan Crawford left behind a $2 million estate. But shockingly, she excluded two of her adopted children, Christina and Christopher, from her will, leaving them with nothing but controversy and a legacy of discord. Number 3. Mickey Rooney Mickey Rooney, the beloved actor with a career spanning generations, was known for his affable on-screen persona. But behind the scenes, it seems that Rooney's nice guy image was just another masterful performance. In his later years, Rooney released his autobiography, Life is Too Short, which initially garnered excitement from fans eager to learn about the ups and downs of his career. However, the book took an unexpected turn, as Rooney chose to focus extensively on his sexual exploits, engaging in what we now recognize as slut-shaming. He didn't stop there. Rooney also divulged personal details about the lives of other Hollywood stars, contributing to rumors about one actress's hidden lesbian double life, although he refrained from naming names. Rooney's personal life was a whirlwind, marked by eight marriages and countless extramarital affairs, all laid bare in his tell-all book. Notably, he faced reprimand from MGM studio head Louis B. Mayer in 1938 for his affair with Norma Shearer, which disrupted the production of Marie Antoinette. Rooney even claimed to have made his first visit to a bordello in the company of his mentor, Milton Berle, and recounted witnessing Tallulah Bankhead in a lesbian encounter. But the revelations didn't end there. Rooney also outed his close friend Judy Garland for a brief affair with a woman and provided explicit details about his first wife, Ava Gardner's private anatomy. Hollywood journalist Craig Bennett made even more shocking allegations in his 2019 book, True Confessions of a Shameless Gossip. Bennett painted Rooney as abrasive, nasty, curt, and rude, alleging that Rooney had engaged in inappropriate relationships with young actresses, some as young as 14. While many believe that Rooney's claims were either exaggerated or entirely false, his actions behind the scenes challenge the idealized image we often have of movie stars. The stark contrast between his on-screen charm and his real-life behavior raises the question of whether movie stars owe it to their fans to be role models, or whether we should separate the art from the artist. As we navigate the complex world of celebrity controversies, it's essential to remember that what happens behind the scenes in Hollywood can often be far more shocking than what we see on the screen. What's your take on this? Are you able to separate an actor's personal life from their on-screen persona? Or do these revelations change your perspective of Hollywood legends like Mickey Rooney? Share your thoughts in the comments. Number 2. Lucille Ball Lucille Ball, the iconic comedian known for her role as the beloved Lucy Ricardo, might have had the world in stitches on screen, but it appears that off-camera she had a different demeanor altogether. Despite playing funny and down-to-earth characters, Ball's sense of humor seemed to vanish when the cameras stopped rolling. She had a reputation for rudeness, particularly towards individuals who didn't share her celebrity status. One incident on an airplane exemplified her demeanor when she completely ignored a flight attendant, opting to communicate through her assistant who conveyed, quote, I'm sorry, Ms. Ball doesn't speak to the help. Even Richard Burton, a legendary actor himself, didn't have any kind words for Lucille Ball. In his diaries, Burton described her as a, quote, monster of staggering charmlessness and monumental lack of humor. He criticized her for being, quote, a tired old woman who relied strictly on her weekly show, which she had been doing for 19 years. Burton alleged that she engaged in desperate upstaging and cutting out other people's laughs, all while nervously monitoring the show's ratings. Lucille Ball undeniably broke new ground in television, revolutionizing the modern sitcom. However, her demanding behavior behind the scenes left a different impression on those who worked with her. Tony Randall once claimed that she, quote, bossed everyone around and didn't spare anybody's feelings. Number 1. Charlie Chaplin 
Charlie Chaplin, often hailed as the founding father of cinema and one of the most iconic figures in the history of entertainment, undeniably left an indelible mark on Hollywood. His talent as a writer, director, and actor is celebrated through timeless classics like City Lights, The Kid, and The Great Dictator. However, there's a darker side to Chaplin's legacy, revealing that he might not have been the lovable figure we imagined from his films. Behind the scenes, Chaplin's perfectionism took center stage, and it wasn't always pleasant. He demanded an incredibly high standard of work from his actors and crew, and if they fell short, they often faced his hostile and abrasive demeanor. Colleagues who worked with Chaplin recalled frequent unnecessary firings, verbal abuse, and temper tantrums that occurred almost daily. Chaplin's personal life wasn't any less tumultuous. Despite his on-screen persona, he had a history of troubled marriages. He married several women before finally settling down with Una O'Neill, the daughter of playwright Eugene O'Neill, when he was 54 and she was 18. The significant age gap raised eyebrows, and O'Neill's father even disowned her. Unfortunately, the pattern of emotional abuse and control continued in Chaplin's personal relationships. Numerous ex-wives shared their harrowing experiences of living with him, painting a picture of a man who had qualms about being unfaithful and exerting control over the women in his life. Thank you for joining us on this fascinating journey through Hollywood's darker side. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, subscribe for more intriguing content, and share your thoughts in the comments. Until next time, keep watching.